All right, and now we're going to talk about uh, some properties of limits. Well, um, if you have some sequence or two sequences, right? So the limit of the sum is the sum of the limits. Then if you multiply your sequence uh, by a certain constant, then the limit of the new sequence is going to be that constant times the old limit and so on and so forth. So they, the, there are essentially the same limit laws as limit laws for functions that you um, are already familiar with. Right, so these are really limit laws. Now, uh, let me show you how we, we can apply the, these limit laws to compute limits of sequences. Like, now, uh, if we already know that the limit of one over n is zero and the limit of n uh, divided by n plus one is one, right? So, um, let's say we want to find the limit of something like one over n plus n over n plus 1 squared divided by 1 over n minus 5 times n over n plus 1 cubed as n goes to infinity. Right? So it, it just really means that the, the two familiar limits, 1 over n and n over uh, n plus 1, so we can replace them with their um, values, and that, that's going to be it. Right? So it's going to be a really... 0 plus 1 squared divided by 0 minus 5 times 1 squared, which is minus 1 fifth. All right, so there are a few more examples like that. Uh, if we have a continuous function f, then basically we can construct a sequence. If we have a sequence, we can apply uh, f to every term of the sequence, and then it's going to be a new sequence, right? So basically, um, in order to compute the limit of the, this new sequence, what we need to do is we need to compute the limit of the initial sequence and uh, plug it into the our continuous function. Like, again, so imagine that, I don't know, so we have our sequence 1 over n. We know that its limit is 0. And suppose that we want to compute the limit uh, as n goes to infinity of something like, I don't know, sine of 1 over n plus e to the minus 1 over n, sorry, uh, minus 1 over n, I don't know, times 1 minus let's say minus one over some, something like this right uh, so what it, it means that you you can think of one over n as, as x right so the, this this is something like your, your x all right and then if you introduce a function f of x which is sine x plus e to the minus x times minus x then this whole sequence, the, the, this whole new sequence that, that we just uh, constructed, well, this is really f of 1 over n, right? So, which means that its limit is going to be the following thing. So you take uh, the, whatever is in, inside f, take its limit, and its limit is, is 0 here, right? and it approaches f of, of that number, right? So what we get is f of 0, which is sine of 0 times e to the minus 0 times minus 0, which is just, just 0. But th 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 this is how it works, right? So here are a few more examples. All right, so that's basically all for limit laws, so please pause the lecture and do this little quiz.